For me to say I've been able to have the opportunity to play here at Cincinnati for four years, I would say uh, it's been a great experience. Uh, it taught me a lot on growth as a man and just as life. But being from here, uh, being able to play for my hometown, the school that I've always followed throughout my, throughout my life, it's been a great opportunity. I've uh, been able to make NCAA tournaments, plenty of fun amongst my teammates each year, year in, year out. Um, and learning from Coach Cronin, man, just as a businessman, as a man, as a father, and just growing up, um, it's been a great experience, though, and I wouldn't change it if I had to redo it all over again. Ah, oh, man, I got some off-the-court memories that I'll probably forever go in the banks with, with, my, with Troy Copain and a couple other my teammates, but as far as the basketball side of it, one, one game would have to be the triple overtime at UConn. Um, I always get the memory of my freshman year when we played in New Mexico. Still the loudest gym I've, I've been a part of. And my last one would be probably my freshman year. I hit a big shot against UCF in the conference tournament, which was also pretty fun. A, a, a big deal for me being young and get the experience that was awesome. Main thing, man, is adversity. Fighting through things that you might think want to go your way, whether it's in the class, on the court, off the court. Adversity, man, that's one thing about life to me that, that will never change. Uh, it'll always be some, some obstacle we all got to go through. And being here and fighting through some things, whether it's a loss, a tough loss, or playing time, whatever it may be, just fighting through it, keep working, stay with a positive attitude, and, and it'll all work itself out. And as you see, success will come from just getting through adversity. Um, anybody who works hard wants to see the outcome at the end of the day. So uh, being here, being able to grow, uh, watch our teams grow each year, year in, year out, and me personally grow is a great, great feeling. Um, and it explains everything about life. As long as you put in hard work and effort, the outcome should, should remain what, what you want it to be. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we're on a pretty good win streak here at home. So if we can keep that up, that would be a special way to take it out of, out of that fifth third, which I like to still call a shoemaker. But, um, that would be nice to end the season, hadn't lost in the gym all year. Uh, coach uh, just last game got his 300th win in the gym. Uh, he was able to beat Xavier this year in the gym. So just to go out the way we want to and, and make a fifth third uh, memorable for many people. But when, you, when I see that support constant, game in, game out, that's, I think that's a lot of reason our, our success as well, man. You feel that loyalty amongst the fans and the people. And we try to do our part to win and make sure we loyal and make sure you enjoy the game as well. Oh man, I haven't even really thought about it. I try to take everything a game at a time, but it'll be special, man. Being from here, four years, a part of a great team. Like, you know, I love my teammates with my brothers, so I don't know. I can't even explain how I'm gonna feel, but I know it, it'll be a lot. It'll be a lot of emotions. And, my team will thrive off of it, and I know that'll be a special game, a special day for all of us, not just the seniors, but our team, man. They love us, and we love them back. It'll be nothing like this probably ever, ever again in life. So I'm just reaping it all in. I'm getting it all in while I can.